Welcome back, fellow pirates. Are you like me and you don't have any friends to do a vault with? Hello, darkness, my old friend. That's okay, because I'm going to show you how to quickly and effectively maximize your profit in the vault. Solo, baby. So let's get to it. Yeah. Boom shakalaka. So let's get one thing straight. This is not a video on how to easily clear out a vault solo. I recommend you do this with a partner or two. But if you have to do it solo, this is how I get the most out of my adventure. And if any of you awesome pirates out there found a better way, make sure to leave a comment and tell us your secret. Also, you can like the video and subscribe to our YouTube. <laughs> Please? No? Okay. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to collect the captain's chest on top of the puzzle. Do not be tempted to solve the puzzle first. We're going to do that later. So we're going to go ahead and take the captain's chest off here. Don't worry about the other chest. Except the fact that you cannot collect every single piece of loot that's in here solo. So we focus on the captain's chest and maybe a few marauders' chests, but focus on captain's chest for now. Make your way to the top. Do not be tempted by all the sweet loot unless it's a captain's chest or a marauder's chest. So right here I find a marauder's chest. Get to the top and drop the chests off and get them ready for retrieval. From up here, you could look for the medallions to solve the puzzle. I don't like to do the puzzle without having at least one medallion in there, if not two. So from here, drop all the loot. I stay away from the small items. I don't mess with them. I get the captain's chest, marauder's chest. The small items, they take too long to loot and they're not worth as much as the captain's chest. So make sure you only loot the shiny chests. And now I'm looking for medallions. I'm kind of panicking because I'm not seeing any, even though they're all around. I think I was drinking this night. There's a, there's a ton of medallions around here. So now I got a bird's eye view of where the medallions are hiding. And if I do stumble upon a captain's chest, I will grab it. So yeah, grab those medallions. Drop the important stuff down if you stumble upon it. But do not be tempted. I cannot emphasize enough. Do not be, a, do not be tempted by these small items and, and these, the shitty chests. The Seafarer's chest and stuff, not, not worth your time really. If we have time at the end, we will do it. But... Right now, I'm kind of fucking up here, I'll be honest. Right now, I'm messing up. I'm not finding medallions, I'm panicking, I'm not looting. So here's another medallion, I'm going to grab it. And now we have two of the three. If you're comfortable doing it with two, I do it with two here. So we're going to solve the puzzle now. Now we got all the loot down from the top, we found two medallions. And we're going to solve this as quickly as possible. And we're going to use the extra time to get all that loot that maybe we missed. Then we get the extras. So the, the goal here is to get all the important stuff out and solve the puzzle... And then you could move on to the secondary items. This is kind of like a mediocre run for me. It wasn't very good. I took a very long time to find medallions. So we did pop that puzzle easily because we had two of the three. And that's the most important piece of loot right there in here is this chest. So make sure you get that. And now it's just free reign. I'm collecting all the stuff that I dropped from the top. Make sure you get the important stuff out. And then you could start looting all the shit that you missed. So we're hustling and bustling here. We know we only got three minutes total to complete this. Now I could go up here and maybe get some stuff that I didn't get before. Maybe I missed some sweet chests up here. Remember, go for the shiny stuff. The, the captain's chests are the most expensive in here. So that's why I try to focus on those. But if you got extra time now, you could go ahead and loot. I don't even bother with the, the chalices because they take too long for me to loot solo as well. So I'm lazy. I usually stay until the vault closes up and I actually drown in there and I collect as much gold as possible before I die. But in this particular instance, I left right before it shut because there was some sloop messing with me out here. So I want to make sure he wasn't going to destroy my ship. That happens all the time when you're doing it solo. So that's another thing you got to look out for is that someone will attack you while you're doing it and you won't even know about it. So keep that in mind as well. That's how I do the solo vault. So to sum up this video, here are my tactics. You enter the vault, you go straight to the top while looking for medallions and important chests along the way. When you're on the top, drop the important chests down while looking downward. You got a good bird's eye view up there of where the medallions are located within the vault. Once the important chests are dropped down off the top and you got some medallions, then you want to do the puzzle. Then you loot the secondary items or whatever you want to get out of there. That's your vault right there, solo. You know, who needs friends, right? Anyway, I hope the video helped you out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Boom shakalaka. Bendo42 here. I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, like, subscribe, comment, all that jazz helps us out. Check out our freaking social media in the freaking thing down there. And also, I stream on Twitch sometimes if you want to check that out as well. Usually Tuesday to Friday. And if you want to check that out, that's great. Maybe we'd be best friends. I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm not sure about you, but I hope to see you in there. We can hang out. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.